Well, good evening, everyone. My name is Bill Simpson, and today I'd like to highlight my experience as a guest enrichment lecturer and port lecturer on cruise ships. Now, I started, my first career was in the Royal Air Force, joined at the age of 15 as an aircraft apprentice, but I ended up in command of two stations by the time I retired. I was along the way presented by the Queen with an MBE at Buckingham Palace, and subsequently in 1988, I received an OBE, uh, which was a nice finish to my career. I also received the honorary freedom of the London Borough of Barnet in 1987, and the freedom of the town of Leighton Lindsay in 1988. After I'd left the Air Force, I also received the honorary freedom of the City of London in 1994. But my second career was a career in commerce, and that saw me go to India, where I was doing business, Moscow and Washington DC in a range of enterprises. But always wanting to be a writer, I chose the Prince, Prince Banda bin Sultan, to tell his story. He was ambassador in the US for 23 years. It was launched at the Great Hall of the Library of Congress in Washington DC. And it had forwards, the book had forwards by Margaret Thatcher and I Nelson like Mandela. And here's a message from Margaret Thatcher. His Royal Highness Prince Banda has been at the heart of many of the great world events of the past 30 years. It's wonderful to see his contribution to world affairs properly recognized in this excellent book by William Simpson. I am delighted to have this opportunity to say a few words on the occasion of the launch of the biography of Prince Bada a man whom I admire greatly. His story deserves telling and international recognition. We owe William Simpson thanks for undertaking this important task of documenting such a remarkable life. Now, as you can imagine, I was delighted with that particular acknowledgement by two great people. I went on to write four further books, three of which have been published before discovering cruising. And I then subsequently, this was in 2013, I've been on 14 different ships from six different lines, which you can see on these slides. Now, in 2017, I was invited by Viking Oceans to become one of their resident historians, something I've greatly enjoyed. And uh, another line that I uh, was on in both roles as the enrichment lecturer and indeed the port lecturer was with Crystal Symphony. But uh, more recently, I spent most of my time with Viking Oceans. This is my uh, cruise record. And this is my recent cruise record. Fortunately for me, I've been on all of the Viking world cruises, sectors of them, and enjoyed it very much. And fortunately for me also, the cruise directors and the particularly the guests have enjoyed my style of presenting and my lectures and here are some of the uh, accolades I've received along the way. So what have I done by way of port lecturing? Well I've been to many many ports right across the globe but here are some of those that I've produced as lectures as a port lecturer or destination lecturer.
So as you can see, I've been well-traveled, but I do enjoy mixing media, moving photographs, and selecting audio to generate impact and atmosphere. I did that for this particular cruise, which was to Valencia, from El Cid to Tomorrowland. Again, the selection of the music and the right uh, visual images can really stimulate interest and entertainment among the guests. Now, I also used mixed media to good effect when I went to Stavanger. And here you can see the swords in stone. As you can see, I like to use mixed media to excite an audience, to get them really interested in where we're going. Now, as a Viking resident historian, I've also produced a range of talks and forums in which I debate or get involved with the audience. And here are some that I produced earlier this year for the World Cruise around Australia and the Pacific. And this is the, uh, the approach I took for the carrier war in the Pacific, trying to use mixed media to create atmosphere, to tell the story of the Japanese attack on Pearl Harbor, a date which will live in infamy. And here are some additional talks that I and forums that I created for cruises around the Caribbean and around South America. Some great names in South American history, 
and of course the inevitable pir pirates of the Caribbean as well. Now, I've also produced and helped produce with Wendy, my wife, Talks for Viking. These are six that we've had a hand in. And these are the talks that I deliver on their behalf. I must emphasize that I don't stand behind a lectern. I look people in the eye and I don't take notes. I don't use notes. I prefer to create a rapport with my audience. And here are the range of talks that I deliver at the iconic lectures that are presented to guests. And these are talks that I'm working on at the present moment as we're not doing a lot of cruising. And they're about female spies, espionage, and some of the greatest characters in history. So there you have it, folks. I hope you've enjoyed my presentation. I've certainly enjoyed putting it together. It brings back great memories of great cruises. But thank you very much indeed for joining me this evening.